Hello guys, this is Rara Likes Games and as you might know, the BAM rework is almost here and with it comes the new open world PvP and with that in mind, I have made a list of top 5 best armors for open world PvP in Albion Online. Now I have also made a list on top 10 weapons in Albion Online for open world PvP. If you want to watch that, a card should appear on your screens right now. Now with that out of the way, let us continue. Now before we begin with our list, here are few things that you should know. First, this list is not in any particular order. Second, I have tried to add every armor type and I have also made sure to add armors that can be used in every type of PvP that is ganking, solo PvP, small group PvP, medium group PvP and even large scale PvP. And third, that there are more than 5 armors that are viable for PvP in this game. So if you cannot find the armor you like, it is most likely that I wasn't able to find a place for it in this list. Now with all that out of the way, let us begin with this list. Next up on this list is one of the most popular armor in this game as it can be used with almost every weapon and that armor is the cleric robe. Now the cleric robe is used by healers and DPS as it is a cloth armor that gives a lot of healing and damage boost. Cleric robe is used in almost every form of PvP from solos to large scale PvP. And since it is a non-artifact item, it is extremely cheap as well. And the reason for its popularity is its activability, Everlasting Spirit. When activated, if you get hit within 1.5 seconds, you become immune to all damage for the next 3 seconds. And you also get 30% damage and healing boost. The immunity helps you tank important abilities and the damage and healing buff you get from it is also very useful. Now make sure to activate this ability when you are getting attacked as if you don't get hit within the 1.5 second duration, the buff won't activate and you won't get any of the benefits from it. Everlasting Spirit can be very useful for clutching a very close fight or it can even be used to negate major abilities from your enemy. This is what makes it a really good armor in every form of PvP and is the preferred armor for most healers and glass cannon DPS builds. At number 2 is another cloth robe and this one is called fiend's robe. Now fiend's robe is mostly used by gankers. This is thanks to its ability called fear aura. Just like its name suggests, it creates an aura in 4 meter radius that fears any enemy hit by it. This aura lasts for 4 seconds. Now fear aura is mostly used to fear the target into your team. The fiend's robe is commonly used in combination with the claws. This is to maximize the amount of CC duration on any given target. Next up on this list at number 3 is Mercenary Jacket. Now Mercenary Jacket is most commonly used in solo and small scale PvP. Mercenary Jacket's ability is called Bloodlust. When activated, every time you damage your enemy, you heal for a flat amount. It lasts for about 8 seconds or 15 hits, whichever comes first. Mercenary Jacket is great for life stealing if you fall low on health as you can even turn a fight around as the amount of healing it gives is a lot and if you are using a fast attacking build you can get your health back to full within a few seconds. All in all this is a pretty good armor if you are looking for some solo action or fighting with a small team as with the lifesteal you don't need a healer since you can heal yourself to full by yourself. Next up at number 4 is another jacket which is quite similar to the mercenary jacket. This is because they are both used for healing in PvP and that jacket is the Hellion jacket. The Hellion jacket is used in small, medium and large scale PvP and sometimes even in a 1v5 situation. This is because of its ability called lifesteal aura. Similar to its name, it creates a 7 meter aura around you that lasts for about 8 seconds. 
and during this time the aura can steal health from up to five enemies now the amount of healing depends on your health that is the lower your health is the more healing you receive maxing out at below 20 percent hp which basically doubles the amount of healing you receive now this ability is best used by bruisers as they can get to the center of the enemy team for maximum amount of damage and healing you can also pair this with a specter hood as it can reset the hellion jacket's cooldown while the hellion jacket is active it is almost impossible to kill you so you can run into the middle of enemy blob and activate this ability for some serious lifesteal now at last at number 5 is the only plate armor on this list and that armor is the judicator armor the judicator armor is popular in mid to large scale pvp this is thanks to its ability for shield it creates a 7 meter area on the ground from where you stand this area boosts the resistance of up to 10 allies and also increases their healing received by 30 percent this ability is great for increasing the resistance and healing received of the front line as you engage the enemy as it makes a lot harder for them to kill you you can also use this to help your backline if they get engaged on as the extra resistances help out a lot now this is it for today's video if you liked it please consider liking and subscribing and if you want to watch my list of top 10 weapons for open world pvp then the link will be in the description below and again thanks for watching